name is Daniel G. Wilson, and this is DJW Interviews. Sitting on interviews, I'll be talking to other families. Here we are. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. How are you, buddy? I'm fine. So, <laughs> all right, gentlemen, you guys play an awesome set here at Rock the Coliseum. And Celebration Square, Mississauga. How's it feel? To be in Celebration Square, Mississauga? To play an awesome set and be here. Uh, feels like feels like home. Feels like norm, feels normal like, home. Feels like home. Feels like my house. Again, yeah. yeah. For, I want to start this off by saying Zach. Zach, you have a very a very chaotic, energetic style of performance. It's, it's hard to describe. The energy that you have on stage is intoxicating. It's like oh, yeah? watching a gorilla go off on a butt go off because yeah, his bananas like got beat wrong. Up a gazelle? Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So how do you how do you how do you do that? Like how does it feel to have that? Why do you do that? Why how, why do you have such interesting energy, such poeticism, such such effervescence in your movements? Well, you know, uh, it's just, the, it's just the way that I do, like, I think we all have a lot of uh, different energy and um, it's not interesting to watch someone just stand there and try to act cool. Uh, I'd rather be myself and just kind of, just kind of, you know, go out with a bang, do it, do it, do it as I feel, and it's just, it's just my natural energy on stage. Though, also, tell me, Zach, your poetry. Yeah. You're a poet. Just tell us quickly about your poetry. Um, well, I think there's like... I'm, I do more than just poetry. Uh, from like 16 on, it was I was doing a lot of poetry. Now it's like uh, a lot of different stuff, kind of like other experimental texts. There's about four books of like there's poems and novels and journals and stuff all in our new album. Uh, they're in the library of our house, uh, so you can check it all out there. Yeah. Awesome. Very awesome. So Jesse, tell me. Uh... So tell me, other families, uh, what is it you get? What, what, what is the anima of other families? What makes you guys tick? What makes you guys so unabashedly uh, stupendous? <laughs> um, well, uh, the mandate for other families, uh, well, there's many different mandates, I guess. It's a project that like, gives us a lot of freedom. Um, but like, the main thing is to um, kind of make your own rules um, rearrange as you see fit and to kind of like further yourself be challenging you know like if you're in this band uh, you can't be lazy you gotta you gotta be proactive and you gotta be doing work that's where we all move at a really quick pace very very cool thank you now tell me now you guys are very interesting now I have to say you in terms of like an art an art group you guys are some of one of the most intriguing fascinating individuals I have ever seen oh, thank you very much. Uh, I've never heard of a band actually having like, and at twenty dollars at that, a USB stick with a video game with a bunch of extra content and like a no a novel you had you made for you, the whole thing as well. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, like if you asked us two years ago uh, when we started making the house, if we were like, if we would ever be video making guys or like, God forbid, like video game guys or. Even like visual artists, like we would have laughed in your face, right? Like, but we took all that time and we learned all of this shit from from the ground up, right? Like, we learned how to edit videos, we learned how to like make like deal with media art and shit like that. Like, um, so, I mean that that like the house was like absolutely impossible in the beginning. Like, it was like way too ambitious, but like we fucking did it, man. We fuck, it's done now. It's it's done. We can't, we can't believe it. Like, it, it's finally done, right? Fast forward, but like it. It feels like it's all a blur, right? It's finally done. Wow. Now, I, I have to ask this. Yeah. Is the your butler, is he single? Is my butler? Have you, have is, you asked somebody, have you asked Nicole that before? You're the, really interested in the push for the butler, right? Yes, I, yes, I, yes. He makes me feel warm I don't inside. actually get along with the butler that well, so I don't really dig too far into his personal life. You know, I kind of, uh, I don't know what we call you. We, we clash heads. We, we, we butt heads, so like, I don't know. Like, I can give you his number. I have his number because he's my butler, but, um, like, he, he doesn't speak English, too. That's the other thing, so it could be a language barrier. Love, 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 no language. Love, no language, yeah. That's true. I guess so. And do you have any final words to the people? Me? 
uh, final words. Yeah. Uh, just stay safe and remember that uh, love always burns. You, uh, it's not gonna. It's not worth it to fall in love. Don't do it. Wise words. And in the future, what can we expect from you guys? Um, we're gonna do a little bit of rejigging, I think, in the coming months. Uh, I like um, our. We're gonna we're gonna break away from one another for a little bit and uh, do some individual traveling. I think uh, one of our guys is going to Asia, and the th and three remaining members are going to uh, together to another country, very far away, and we'll keep you posted on that. We'll be playing shows as a three piece in a very very far away country um, for many months, yeah. and then we'll come back. Like I said, we'll be back. We'll always be back. Exciting. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Jason Manu. Thank you, buddy. This was fun. Thank you for sitting me down in this. Uh, this, like, little door thing. This little doorway. I always have the best locations. Sorry? I always have the best locations. Oh, good. Okay. I'm glad, man. I think you do. I think you do. All right. Well, thanks. No problem, man. Bye.